Halo teman-teman, senang berjumpa kembali dengan kalian dan saya harap kalian dalam keadaan baik-baik saja. Sebelum lanjut menonton video ini, silahkan hidupkan subtitlenya teman-teman agar kalian bisa memahami apa yang kami sampaikan. Karena dalam video ini kami akan berbicara bahasa Inggris, supaya teman-teman dari berbagai belahan bumi bisa memahaminya. Hello friends, it's nice to meet you again and I hope you are well, have good fortune, are given health and make everything easier for you. Meet again with me, Yunus Hasibuan, as the owner of the BioBuan YouTube channel. And this time, my Nerfadila wife of Yunus Hasibuan will be speaking here. I hope you like it. Okay friends, today Tuesday, 2nd July 2024, we are again showing a video of the repair of the Batu Jomba climb, which was carried out on Thursday, 27th June 2024. And here I and my wife will explain this video in detail, friends. In this video, we see that officers will repair the ditch to improve the flow of water if it rains again on the Batu Jomba incline. They repaired the ditch starting from the bottom up to the top of this incline. Okay, friends, this is the first time I'm talking a lot here with my husband's permission because I really feel sorry for my husband working as a YouTuber. I see it a lot in videos that he often breathes dust and gets wet and cold in the rain in Batu Jomba. That's why I want to help him by providing sound in this video. Hope you enjoy and like it. They repaired this ditch with simple tools, namely using a wheel loader, because it looks like this condition makes it very difficult for them to dig a ditch and cement it, because to the left, there is a hill that joins the road. They repaired this ditch in stages, starting from the bottom to the end, friends. They repaired it on time because after this, it will rain very heavily on the Batu Jomba climb, so the water flows well in the ditch. They repaired this ditch. It's about 50 meters long from the bottom to the top. And this is one example of what they have done. And here it is clear that this hill and the road are very close together. So you cannot dig the ground to cement the ditch, because if you do, the land from the hill will easily slide. What do you think, Bioban friends? This is also one example of what they have worked on. Okay friends, 
Now we're going to turn the camera around for a moment to see what has been fixed. Actually, how many meters? This ditch can be cemented so that the ground does not slide easily. Okay, friends, let's go back to reviewing what they have done. Now it's time for us to focus on seeing them fix this boat. Okay, friends, if you like me talking here, please support this channel by giving a gift and super thanks. That way I will be even more enthusiastic about talking in the next videos. Thank you, Bayobuan friends. Okay, friends, now it's time for me to talk. And we try to point the camera in the opposite direction so that it can be seen from all directions. And if you have a good idea, you can write it in the comments column. We are open to all Beobuan friends, please. and it looks like it's very narrow at the end, so it's very difficult to dig it. Okay friends, now we will review and look again at the ditch that they have repaired from the tip to the base.
Now we will take a moment to look at the car passing the Batu Jamba Incline Friends. So, after about two hours had passed, the rain fell very heavily on the Batu Jamba climb. Let's watch the video, friends. Oh my god, even the police car felt how difficult it was to get through the Batu Jomba incline. Do you listen to my voice? Because the sound of the rain is very loud. This is a group of buses escorted by the police friends. And this bus group numbered 12 vehicles.
Oh my god. And you can see here that all the bus passengers have to get off and they are soaked in the rain in the middle of the Batu Jomba climb. It's really very sad to see them.
Dia mana pergi tahu daun? Ya, tak? Dia mana pergi tahu daun? Mundur rupi Oh, oh. This bus will back down for a second try, friends. Seen here, they are all soaked because there is no shelter. The roof of the police post is only short, so it cannot shelter them. Okay, it's time for this bus to try a second time. Wow, it turns out this bus really can't pass this incline. Okay, bus 11 is their backup, and the passengers will transfer to this bus.
Okay, friends, finally the bus which is unable to pass this incline will be towed using a tow truck. 